Welcome back. This is Roberto Lionheart at Lionheart Lodge. We're back with more Coral Island. We don't usually load on this screen, but I had to point something out. Every time I look at this right here, it looks to me like Raphael has some sort of chicken launching powers, magic powers given to him by the island. So that's my secret headcanon. Not so secret anymore. Raphael has chicken launching magic powers in his hand. Alright, let's move on. So, we did have um, an experiment that I wanted to try with the eggs. So, we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's see if there's anything special on the telly. Uh, nope, we already talked about mushroom logs. Is it new? Is it new? Is it new? No. They're going to start their fight. We don't need to see them start their fight again and again. Hey, Luna. Nothing special today, but it is Wednesday, which means, unfortunately, Sam is closed. So if there's anything that's a one-off that is finished today, we're not going to be able to get seeds for it. Oh, well. Such is life. We have some mail. You've got mail. Dear Roberto, Fish and Ships needs a couple fresh flowers. Would you be able to supply them? If so, please have them delivered as soon as possible. Yes, Sam's doesn't have a good selection. Thanks, Noah. Sure. Bring two flowers to Tavern between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Now, the question on... or the, the Okay, you know what? Let's do, let's do something here. Let's untrack this. We know we want to do that. Same as that, right? But let's track this one. And let's track this one. So, two flowers to tavern between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. But the tavern is closed today. And it doesn't say it has a time limit like this one does. So I'm assuming it's just any day between 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we'll probably try that tomorrow, but that's why we're tracking it, so I don't forget. And then uh, she wants an orchid. So technically, we could grab, a, like, three orchids and just run around with that and stop by her and them. We can do that tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. We've got a lot of work to do here and here. I mean, everywhere, but m we've done most of our work in the ocean at this point. That's okay. The ocean should be allowed to be free of garbage and free, and free of oils and all that. Oh, good. We'll run them both at the same time. That's the plan anyway. I think the only thing I'm leaving... Okay, still not yet. Didn't think it would be. I think it's actually not just the last half of the season. I think it's actually the last week of the season. Take that battery. Now, even though we only have one, I still want to experiment. So, question is, one egg, one large egg. Oh, it makes one large mayonnaise. Okay. I wondered how they were going to make that a significant enough difference to be worthwhile. And they did not disappoint. I'll wager money's really good, too. Alright, well, let's go over here first. Pet you, sheepy. And cheer you. Pet the cow. Don't eat my hand. Thank you. We'll milk you from your neck this time. It's fine. These cows work specially. Uh, wherever you choose to put the bucket, they they just... Ooh, out goes the milk. That's why you can't leave any buckets laying around in their barns. It's really bad. Get the chicken, pet the dog. Get the eggs and leave. Give me long cow. You can't have it. 
suppose I could have just hit Z, but oh well. I actually do that quite often, I've noticed. We have spots we could put some wild seeds. Oh dear. Oh, we got a replant. We got some... Oh, okay. So the replant doesn't immediately plant the seed. It gives us seeds. Okay. I actually like that better. What, a day left? Two days. Okay. on that, yeah. Sure do. I don't know if we're going to have enough flowers for uh, the, the tavern. Okay, we need to come back over and grab some more of those. So, drop some stuff up in here. Go back down and gather the rest of it. of those in. We know we do of those because they're all a thing. What of these? The flowers we do. The artichokes we did not. Good thing we checked. Uh, we were right about these. We have five of each of those. And of that. Good. Good, good, good. And got five basil seeds we can replant, four blue dahlia, and one orchid. You know what? Let's take a barley too. Because why not? Okay. Okay. Put those there. That's where they were growing. These were growing here. Those were growing there. And I don't remember where I was growing this, so let's just put it in there. Excellent. And, uh... <laughs> we'll grab more. The issue is these are going to be off season or off the count, but oh well. That's fine. Okay, let's go put this stuff over. Oh, right over over there. Grab the stuff out of. Grab the stuff out of all these, and then we'll break the ones that are done. Glad you produced. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, I leave the papaya already. I was right. Dragon fruit don't look ready yet though. All right. There. Two, three. space for one, or we have space for one more of those, and we need to build three more mason jars over here. We have enough for one. Uh, no, we need 12 glass for each one of them, so that means 36 glass. special was happening today, so we don't have to worry too much about are we on time for this, that, or the other. Over here. 
put all those in their proper bin. Yeah, that's it. Okay, barley beer. Slow for two hours. I mean, I'm going to put it this way. There are a bunch of games that just, like, like this, where they just put stuff in, and there's not really any sort of uh, downside to consuming a product like that, right? However, in real life, there definitely is a downside. It definitely does affect you. So the fact that they chose to put it in here, I respect that. It's, it's not a huge detrimental effect, but I imagine it's not something you really want if you're going to be going and doing something somewhat important. Imagine we're just going to turn the fruit into... We have another bin for that. For the we haven't decided yet. Yep, right there. Okay. So, this is grape juice. That barley beer, we've decided the grains are just going straight in there if they can't turn into flour. So that's just a thing. Grape juice, I kind of want to turn it into... Um, put it in the aging barrel. So, we're going to put that in there for now. And we should probably have a few of these on hand of one type or another. I don't know if we've sold one of each of these, though. I know we haven't sold one of those, we just barely got one. We should at least know how much that sells for. Okay, it's duck mayonnaise, but the way my brain read it was duck flour. <laughs> oh wait, no, we sold the lower level stuff. I guess we're just keeping the higher stuff. That's fine. In that case, we can take these out and put in five of those and then sell the rest. We'll just keep five five to ten artisan goods on hand of each type. Um, I guess we did sell one of each of those. Okay. And in this case, we know the flower turns into something else. So, we'll use the lower level. I guess we could with the salt, too, to be honest. That salt goes into a lot of recipes. I do like that I can take stuff out of that shipping bin until the day of, you know, the next day. That is very nice to have that freedom. No, we need to take this over there. That's why I opened it. Some of this stuff in here for a moment. We know we started at the pumpkins. As long as I don't hit sort on that bin while we're doing this, we'll be fine. <laughs> nope. Wrong one. We definitely need to get this all sorted better. Should be the right spot. And I'm really honestly beginning to think that, that those shiitake mushrooms aren't going to turn into any sort of juice or anything. But maybe we can pickle them, so we'll see. I think that was all. Yes. Okay. We brought that over. Now. Let's get the artichokes over. 
and see if there's room for any more of these others. There's room for five more total. Let's pull these out just to see. If so, I'm just going to get them gone. Pulled celery. Cannot make pickled mushrooms. Cannot make mushroom juice. Okay. I mean, I don't even know how well, how good that would taste in real life. Let's be honest. It doesn't sound super appetizing. I just wanted to verify. I'm pretty sure we already verified the wasabi, but I don't remember. So we're not going to verify it right there, but for sure it doesn't go in the keg. So we'll put it down in here and we'll verify it next time. We have an open jar. Take out the bok choy. Bring that one over now. Now that we have more space. And actually, I know what we're going to do. Alright, so we have that there for artisan goods. We have this here for the mill, which means we can just bring this farther over a little bit. But what I want to do take out all the questionable ones, right? The ones that uh, I don't know whether they should go in the one or the other. We're going to move this down here. Come over here. Craft one of these. This will be our, I don't know, test. We can experiment from. Which means technically haven't written down anything or put in our our thing for anything on bok choy. Um, beet goes in the keg, actually. Beet was best as juice. Let's see, what was next? Corn was best as juice. And later on, there may be other things we can turn them into, and we will. But that way we can uh, start getting them sorted into the proper chests, so we know for sure. No, I'm choosing to leave the cranberries in here just because I, that's, that's what I'm doing. I don't know about the papaya and dragon fruit or the tomatoes. Those I'm experimenting with. Not sure. Not sure. There we go. Excellent. Now we can experiment with those. And, uh,. Let's even name the chest experimental or even there we go oh I'm standing closest to it this one will be keg and guess what the other one is That's right I'm not spelling the whole thing out it's gonna be jar Excellent. So we have a couple things for the keg, or a couple kegs that are open, I should say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all of it except for one of whatever the highest is. So we can put in two of these. Actually, what we should do, since we're we're growing in this season actively, we have two that are ready. We should take full threes of anything. That way, 
as we go adding to it, it should still be fine. But we can run a full three every time. Yeah, that feels better. That feels really good. Okay. Now we'll bring the mill chest like right here. And then we'll make a new chest for the honey. Make more honey things. So, to that end, make one that is the mill chest. And these are to be milled. These are to be milled. Excuse you. I was typing there. All right. So, we can now take one, two, three of those. Pop them right in here. That makes this one the honey chest. And for right now, let's just move it over closer to the honey. And I'm sure we'll have a better spot for the honey soon. Especially when we make more of them. did it take to make honey thing gummies? Bee houses? Oh, okay, it's a lot of bronze ore. So we're gonna wait and then we're gonna build more of those. Uh, because right now, we're trying for more of these. And we're just gonna keep going in order. We'll probably end up with about 10 of each machine, except for maybe um except for maybe this and this, because I mean, in the end, maybe we should, but right now, the one of each that we've had has served us well enough. Same as this. And I think this has been fine, although it would help us get more glass sooner. So there is that to consider. And then we need to save up a bunch of bronze bars. So it seems like, mines-wise, we really should be going in every day to at least get... The raw ores. So, to that end, let's go hop in and do a round of quick ore mining and then continue working on the, the Wind Guardian a little bit. Seems like we should have enough time to do that. Unless we run into a whole lot of stuff. Which, that wouldn't be bad. It's going to be a little, a little difficult towards us today. All right. <laughs> Let's hit nothing. had dropped something, so that's why I was going back. Oh. 
We're not finding much ore this time through. The bronze. But I guess that technically makes it a slightly shorter run. Not that that's, you know, the major thing we're watching for. It's just we get over to the gold area faster. spot to hit it from. It was so good. This guy swapped spaces a couple times. Where he has. Maybe I'm wrong. This seemed like it to me that he was switching spots. I suppose if I really wanted to concentrate on bronze ore, I should just go through the whole whole cavern system, but we need this other stuff for other things, and we need to get farther into the caverns to save the other giants anyway. Those seem to only take two hits now instead of three. Must be a damage thing. First few times it happened, I wondered if that was just a little bit of a fluke or something, but no, it seems to be damage dealt to it. If that's true, then as long as I'm getting the same amount of ore from it I otherwise would, then I'm fine with that. happened to me on those enemies, where I run through them and take damage anyway. are going to be a bit, um, like this, huh? Yeah. Team up on me at the very beginning, huh? That's all right.
Take that. There is some silver over here. done hitting those. It was fun, but they've never, ever given me anything, so I kind of think they won't ever do so. That, that's funny. Floor 10 it is. So we can hope to get to 15 now. Um, time wise, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm going to say worst case. Enemies are getting stronger. We didn't not expect that, so. That was dramatic. Do to do to do. Just in case it had more for me. give it to me right away like that. Maybe we do have a shot at getting through this. Five, five levels through this. Okay. What are you? Oh. You burrow. And then you what? Is that poison? Uh, enough of that. They're inviting me deeper. Just to make the last one super difficult to get. Just watch. Okay. Ah. 
very new. I mean, it's still based on the other ones we've seen, right? See if it's gonna give us anything. All right. Well, worst case, we run super late into the uh, cave system, and we don't make it to bed on time. But I don't think we'll be so late that we collapse. Trying to lick me. Gross. Plus, I don't know what's wrong with your tongue, but um, it's very sharp. No damage. the extent of it. Oh, they didn't make it hard for us. Still don't think we make it bed on top. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe we will make it to bed on time. Oh no, it's every 10 and 20 that the chests appear. That's right. I Did I want the resources from that floor? Yes, yes I did. I want a full stamina bar in the morning, though? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Alright, do we have time? Yes, we kind of do. We're fast. Huh. I need to figure out what I want to do more. Okay, I need to figure out whether I need more of this ore first or bronze bars first. So I'll figure that out at some point. I guess this goes inside with me. We'll sort the rest of it in the morning, kind of. It's on our way. Sail. There's an Azure, right? I don't know if we. Yeah, I don't know if we know which one that goes in yet. No, wait, that was herbs. That goes in the fridge. I think we let these be up to 10, like I said, with the, what, the chestnuts, so let's do that. Uh, wow, one barley beer is worth 345, one grape juice, 200. And I know once that turns into wine, it's going to be worth even more. We can probably age this. Will it turn it into an ale, or will it still be a beer then? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, let's look at the telly. Arc one? Yep, arc one. Nothing special today, but now some people are open. Sam! <clears throat> and the um, tavern as well. Gotta drop off the batteries. There we go. Alright, we do need to check that stone for enchanting goodness. Hey, how's Fall on Coral Island? 
friend is looking for a black trumpet mushroom and will pay a lot of money for it. There should be plenty growing around the lake. If you find any, please save one for me. See you when I get back. Ben. Alright. Cool. Watch one of those. Another park. Garbage. It's not yet the last week, but I just want to see. Still no. Those in there. Go around and collect what needs to be harvested. We'll go look at that mayonnaise in a minute. A random cranberry over here. Oh no, it was this sprinkler that I was interacting with. That section. Come on. We should have enough fill on hand. Yeah. Face, I mean. Close the gate. Close the. There we go. I let the animals in there. I'm sure they don't actually hurt it. Um, game mechanics wise, but it's the it's the principle of the matter. It could hurt it in real life by trampling on it. It's, it's good habits to proceed into. I'll let them all out in a moment. I'll ring the, all the bells. Okay. Technically, it's been offered. I haven't sold one though, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. We'll keep our ten on hand, and then we'll start making some mayo. I really want to see how much that gives. My guess is it's twice as good as the regular egg, so it's only gonna be two hundred. But we'll see. Why I'm clicking in that on the cells. Sometimes I think I have a clicking compulsion. It's just like, oh, you must click right now. <laughs> That's alright. It only hurts me sometimes. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to break that plant. Oh no. You know. Those times. The water forageables. These are flowers. We didn't get any of those, did we? No. We did not. Alright, let's take out ten of these. No, it was, um, ten. Ten for each one, so fifty of these. And I totally grabbed... Way too many. Yes, I know. Thank you. Alright, each one is twelve, so we can make another one this point. All right. Let's see? See? Yes. Uh, see? Yes. Very nice. That works very nicely. Go ahead and just do the two of these just because. We're going to put that in there. That's not where it belongs. Hope those are ready. Alright. 
All right. Come on. There you go. Ah. I run by grabbing. Checked. This is actually. Can't remember what tier of this needs to be offered to the goddess. We should probably go look. I know most of these say offered. This doesn't. That suggests we don't need to. But. Alright, so there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kegs that are ready. And seven jars that are ready. So, time for some experiments. There's one experiment. Oh, wait, oh gosh. Actually, we should experiment with the lower tier anyway. So we can have seven experiments. So, let's experiment. I mean, we'll just take this last one out. No, that one will then be to tell us where to put them. Same thing for that tomato. Which means we could just take four of each of these out. Then no. Yeah, we could do that. So we can be certain and try it and see. There we go. Experimentation time. And if we have the different uh, bins. Okay. Pumpkins cannot go in mason jars. Motto juice. Motto jam. Motto sauce, right? Blueberry juice. Blueberry jam. Papaya juice. Papaya jam. Dragon fruit juice. Dragon fruit jam. Not do anything in the keg or the mason jar. Okay. Sweet potato juice. Oh, wait, we can do three of those. We cannot put them in the, the jar. Okay, so. Sweet potatoes and pumpkins go in the keg. Pumpkins and sweet potatoes go in the keg. And we have enough for one more experiment. Enough room. So let's check the tarot route. I grabbed all of them. Tarot root juice. And not go in the mason jar. Okay. Well, all the tarot root goes in the kegs. Sweet. Some of them are forced in. I will accept that and be happy with it. Uh, we need enough for one, two, three mason jars so that we're not empty. So three is one, two, three, five, six, and one, two. Those. Beautiful. Uh, and we haven't decided yet on those, so we're gonna do that. I did want to take one to see the goddess just in case. So let's go do that really quick for both of them. Oh, actually, it's late enough. We can grab... Uh, did she want an orchid? Yes. So she would like an orchid. And the tavern would like some flowers. And we have to check the goddess and the enchantment on that one item. Oh wait, now the fruits would have been over here, I think. 
Not rare crops. Okay, so it needs to be silver. Okay. Alright, so... It, to be fair, it didn't say it needed it yet. Let's just do something. I mentioned truffles being around this area, right? Grab that dragonfly. And not the grasshopper. Totally meant to miss him. Totally. Hello, fly. You're ours. Our hose being upgraded. There are three points there for us to grab. Okay, well, there's no, no truffles over here by the lake at this time. Now we're going to look for... What was her? Kira. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's over there. So we'll head to the tavern first. Hey, hey, I photobombed you. Oh, right. Our, uh, seeds. But let's go to the tavern here first. Oh. Ah, Roberto, perfect. Why don't you join today's tasting? Okay. Looks like you have ketchup, mustard, and, um... Green relish? You can have my share. I've had more than enough while preparing this. Thanks for coming here, y'all. Noah has been getting on my case about putting a new item on the menu, so here we are. I came up with three different drink recipes, and I'd like you all to taste it. The best drink will be put on the menu. That's a cool idea. Can't wait, babe. I'll never say no to free food or drink. <laughs> I'm here to give support in whatever way I can. All right, here we go. Let's start with the red one. Good thing none of these people are colorblind. Could have been interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's move on to the yellow one. He's looking for a wow factor here, a wow response. See, okay, the green drink is the last one and we'll make our votes at the end. <laughs> uh, do we really have to drink this, honey? Maybe Mama should sip drinking this one. Hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's got a cloud above it. No, no, I want to support Frank. I'll be fine. I'm sure it tastes better than it looks. All right, I have both Charles and Yuri's numbers on speed dial in case anything happens. Oh, wow. This definitely tastes better than it looks. You were right, Betty. I think this one works, Frank. We could even make a game out of it because it looks so off-putting. Like a dare or even a spinner. The tourists will love it. Really? I thought it was going to taste terrible. Hang on a minute. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't want to change the menu that Mama and Dad made. But I purposefully used ingredients that I thought would be horrible in drinks. Oh, sweetheart. You don't have to do that. The tavern is yours now. It hasn't been mine in many years. You're free to do whatever you want with it. Plus, you should update your menus. Oh, look, another one. Hi, Roberto. One moment, please. I'll be right with you. So if Sissy isn't coming, is Eddie still going to be... No, your brother isn't coming home either. Sorry, my uh, finger clicked. He said he would try to get the ticket back, but he mailed me a letter this morning. And he said that the tickets are too pricey for his budget right now. 
I don't mind at all. I'm happy he's careful with his coins. Your father would understand. All right then, Ma. When should we go to the graveyard? If we aren't waiting for anyone else, can't we just do it today? Not the right timing, dear. I have to see the mayor soon. I'm helping him with the upcoming festival. I'm thinking sometime next week. Sounds good, Ma. Hey, Roberto, wanna come? Uh, sure. I think it's time. Don't you think, honey? This is cutscene central right now. <laughs> hey, come in, come in. Whoa, I didn't know you were behind the register buddies now, right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay, instead of going over to the counter, sitting down and chatting, we're just walking right back there. <laughs> yeah, you should be a little embarrassed. Haha, <laughs> kidding. What's up? What you got there, Roberto? Why does everybody look at things by putting them in their pockets? Wow, hey Noah, come here, quick. Yep, just a sec. Hey, you got what I asked for. What do we owe you? We don't owe anything. You asked Roberto for a couple, couple lousy flowers you can easily get near the lake? Mm -hmm. Oh, no offense, Roberto. These flowers are great. I think I didn't bring higher quality ones. Yeah, well, I'm busy, Frank. I needed help getting those flowers. If it's so easy to get the lousy flowers, why don't you go and get them yourself next time then, bro? Uh, walked right into that one, didn't I? Alright, never mind. Thanks for your help, brother mine. And you too, Roberto. Thank you, and I believe we owe you these. Sorry about Frank. He's a cheapo. <laughs> hey, come on now. I was just kidding. Anyways, thanks for the flowers, Roberto. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't bring higher quality ones. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. I'm... Okay, she is still over there. However... Let's see. I'm trying to remember what it was we needed. Pretty sure it was a bunch of these. And the basil. And orchids. we go anywhere else or do any other things Let's check on this none of this needs to be offered or donated let's bring this to I think it's Kira is her name Teleport over to the farm. Oh crap, we still need to go around and grab our, uh, our tools from the places that have them too. So we'll do that after we give this to Kira. Hey, bug. Oh, 
thought she wasn't here anymore. I was like, no. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's play this one. All right, Ben wants a special mushroom. And we need colder weather after sunset. Yeah. Well, we're guessing it's an ocean one. Let's really quick pop in here, see if they have an errand for us or not. They do not. Technically, I could probably benefit from buying a better weapon. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's no probably about it. I'm pretty sure it's just guaranteed it would be good for us. But we don't have the monies right now. We got no monies. Awesome. Hey, uh, where's your brother Chicken Hand? I don't see him in here. Let me know when he gets his power, okay? Maybe we have to help the goddess all the way for him to get that power. It would be kind of a confusing ability to have launched at you if you had some sort of battle royale. We're launching chickens at you. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we, we, we had enough space for all that. <laughs> I should have planned that. Alright, so we'd need these up to silver next. And then we'll have everything up to silver. Except for this. That's gold encrusted. That means it's better, right? <laughs> Um, however, so let's look at what the silver upgrade cost for these is. So we need 10 silver kelp essence. Okay. Oh, wait. How many? 2,000 coins. So 4,000 coins and 10 silver essence. And 40 wood. Oh, wait. We have our hoe back. We can do this now. Yay! We got some garbage! Woohoo! Alright, let's go check the enchantment level on this. I don't know if I said this out loud or if it was in my brain, but uh, technically, yeah, the more expensive ones... Okay, 50 or higher, yep. That'll do for these. Um, saying 50 and higher will work on these ones, but even the 20s should work on, say, the lowest level, like, for example, this. I could put five 20s in here and it would work. So, I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's run back. Let's let's run back to the farm. Or quickly run through up. Okay. That. Oh, inventory full. Yeah, that's why. Well, I guess we'll do an experiment and see how long it stays there. What did we bring back anyway? Whole bunch of stuff. For the sale bin. Well, actually, not quite yet. First for the artisan bin. Technically, we should keep some sort of pickles in here. Have some jam in there. Putting all our grape juice in there, but of a higher level. So those come out, and we have a gold gem in there right now, right? Yeah. I want to keep all these in Tournament of Wine, but I don't have the setup for that, so anything above 10 we're just going to sell for now. Let's 
all we need for recipes, so we really should keep that. Same thing with the flour. Yeah, that looks good. Um... I just did not want that. And that's fine. Put this in here. Because we know we have 10 in the other bin, but we know this is definitely for a recipe, per se. And let's put this down in the good enchantment. Those seeds. Uh, no, we're not putting in these seeds. We need to plant these seeds. But we can put the buggies in there. And that in here. Alright. Now that we're getting a bit more of a what is word? A framework in place. A lot more of this is going to start progressing faster. So I'm glad about that. Let's take that out. Let's put this in. I don't know, I am kind of trying to remember to go fishing a little bit for the... Gosh. The, the fish quest that that guy has run, us running on. Once we have a bit more money, what I think I need to do is get about 24 seeds ahead of each one of these. So that way, we don't run into this issue where we've got um, all this... this We have to go over and buy more seeds every day that they run out. Instead, yes, we do that unless it's Wednesday and then we're we're set, we're ready. All right, mason jar. We have enough for two of the three more of those that we need, so we just need one more. And then bee boxes. We can make two more of those. Definitely should. Or bee houses. I don't know, I call them boxes. Maybe I'm silly. And then for those, we just need bronze ore, so we don't need to be making or cooking this. What we do need to cook is silver to have enough silver for those, which I think... Oh, it's not. It's silver kelp. Not even that. So, what we're going to do is hold on to it. Hill. Oh wait, hang on. We're gonna just stock it up now until we know what we need it for. The gold does make sense, but we only have you know what, let's just make three then. That's because right now we're cooking glass. So an extra kiln would be nice, but again that costs more some of the resources that we are actively using for something else. With my little eye. A sake that's done. And a keg that needs to be moved. Gorgeous. He's standing like right next to it. Alright. 
technically we'd have we have enough space to just put them back to back right here. I think that would be fine because we don't have to run between. Oh, and we can. Holy cow, we can run in between. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good to know. All right, we have an open keg and an open jar, so we should look into experiment. Um, are we experimenting with eggplants? Let's see. Grape juice. And no machine full. You're not gonna tell me, are you? Okay. Well, I don't think we got to the eggplants, but we are, well maybe we did. We are either checking the eggplants or we're checking the bok choy. I don't remember. So let's let's check the bok choy. Okay. Now let's grab three items. This one. Beautiful. All right. Now for the mill. You. We have to. Gosh. I think I'm gonna move that box. It is just barely in the way of walking through there. So we're gonna have to move it above the question mark box. We have two more of these. Let's, uh, go. Two. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't have any sake in here. I've also never sold a sake. Time to sell a sake. And it's the more trash processing. did that in the morning. Okay, I was like, oh, oh, did we forget? No, we started off with the animals. We're fine. Come in here. Oh, right, the seeds. <laughs> Alright, so let's go put the salt in the bin. And then... We don't have enough time to do a full run. And I'm bringing way too many tools with me. Oh well. It's too late now. So we're just gonna go and do a work towards unlocking this guy. Run. I mean, very specifically, we're going for those holes. We're, we're... not looking for anything else at this time. No battles, no gold ore nodes.
we're not gonna shy away from it, right? But certainly not seeking out battles. cavern though where there's plenty of gra grass and leaves make it all right this guy we're gonna have to handle try to do my special right click attack but apparently I can only do that in town. No more gas leaks in this mine. increase in range for collecting items. Okay. I mean, auto block at 2% is meh. But now we can collect things from farther away, which maybe that matters? I don't know. <laughs> I'm usually pretty close when things need to be collected, so... I think if we keep just, like, uh, focusing, we have enough time to go for another... How many of us, including myself, would have been mad if I didn't at least grab that? the guy that's right here next to us. And this one.
I mean, at this point, we're two floors away from finding it. I'm all in. We'll eat a bunch of bug jerky in the morning if we have to. This will break it. Okay, then. heard me that I was all in and it's like, okay, you know what, uh, we'll be nice. Alright. It's like this is one of those ones that doesn't give you the staircase to start with. But it looks like we'll be able to essentially free one giant per season, so I feel like that's kind of on par for what maybe the devs intended. Uh, with that sort of a uh, or I don't know, I just feel like that's maybe along the lines of what they were thinking would be able to happen. Alright. I actually have to go and look at some of those, so I might as well just look at all of them. Those in there. Oh, that has not been offered, so that goes in there. Okay. Go in here. Oops. Okay. Two. Five items to sell. Nope. Nine items to sell. Ooh. Then we'll put that ring in miscellaneous along with all the other miscellaneous items that we have in here. Like the two stone chests that I could have used instead of making. That means it just picked a chest in the house and put them in it. Because we had things that said, okay, we'll put this in the storage. And then it wasn't there. So now we know. Sticks it in a random bin. What do we have to look forward to for tomorrow? Oh, Randy, we'll have a birthday. All right, well, cool. Well, cool. Let's see if we get any goodies. Merit earned, okay. Relationship up with Frank. Arming, so celery, eh. Jam, eh, grape juice, yep. The barley beer we knew was going to be a thing. And the sake. Holy cow. Sake, eh, this is worth a lot. Kind of seems like a whole farm full of rice would be really cool. Large mayo is worth 150. I kind of figured it might not be worth two. But that's okay. Oh, there we go. Really quick, before we before we leave, I want to look at something. Um, it would be journal. Okay. So it shows what can be a thing, or like what what levels it can be, but it doesn't show how much they're worth. At least it shows that we've had them. Cheese. We've caught a few fish. We've caught a lot more bugs than fish. And sea critters. But we've found actually a bit of the artifacts so far. I'd say about half the gems. Uh, not many fossils. A bunch of scavengers, though. 
got all those extras. And we haven't hit each one of these things, but um, that's that was that one was a gold tuku tuku. Hang on a minute. This tuku tuku can drop bat wings. That may make it worth worth it to go into that full bronze area to just just to get those bat wings from them. Spectre. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did not realize that of these guys. But that's a large loot pool, so we have to beat a lot of them. Most likely. Alright, well, cool. Until next time, good luck, have fun, and have a great day.